Dad? Is just going to have to take a number and get in line behind me with Palmer and Jamie and everybody else. Because I would like to be the first to welcome you to the family. I am JR's other father, the cool one. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad? Yeah. JR's told me all kinds of things about you. Am I in trouble? Never. You're even <laughs> handsomer than JR said. <laughs> <laughs> Bright and beautiful. I like her. <laughs> welcome to the family, David. It's an honor to meet you. Let me go. No, 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 no. Just don't, let me just go. Just don't insult him so he runs out of the house. Please. What the hell do you expect me to do? My son comes home, he's got this girl with him, and he said, oh, this is my wife. It's a deliberate challenge. Dad? How's it going over there? <laughs> <laughs> well, you two certainly know how to blindside a guy. <laughs> Babe, you're welcome here, of course. And, um, JR, son, congratulations. Thank you. Wow, I feel like I just popped up new to have a cake at the Pope's birthday party, but y'all get used to me. I'm real easy to get to know, and I mean, what you see is what you get. And I just hope, for JR's sake, that you'll give us your blessing. Because I'm wild about JR. I could howl about him all night long. In fact, I already have. <laughs> well, they'll all fall in love with you, just like I did. Where shall I place Mr. JR's guest? Uh, between me and my father. Mm, that sounds about right. Just to my dad's right. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'll, I'll move over. Winifred, I think we should have the champagne now to celebrate the new Mrs. Chandler. Of course. And now for the introductions. Grandma Ruth. This is Babe. Hello, dear. Hi. You're Tad's mom, right? The one who adopted him? Yes, that's me. And Joe and I will have you over to the house for dinner as soon as you're settled. Oh, cool. Thanks. I ate way too much of everything. <laughs> and you've got to be Tad's birth mom. Well, how did you get us? Those earrings? Jared told me he stood out in the crowd. Oh. <laughs> Don't encourage her. <laughs> Mr. Cortland? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, it's, uh, it's very nice to meet you, dear. <laughs> Is it true that you've got a house bigger than this one? Oh, oh yes, yes. Uh, oh, oh, only it now belongs to my ex-wife. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to us all. <laughs> all right. Uh, will you kids be settling here in Pine Valley? We haven't made any long-term plans. Oh, you're going to love it, honey. Yeah. In fact, I'll throw a great big wingding for you at the mansion. <laughs> Introduce you to all the fun folks. Champagne and maybe for better. everybody. <laughs> oh, wow. I landed in Dynasty. And Babe's a big fan. Of what? <laughs> Dynasty. Uh, Alexis and Crystal. <laughs> this is Mary Smythe. She is a house guest and a friend of my father's. Oh, uh, I get it. Cozy. <laughs> you guys aren't so snooty after all, huh? <laughs> no, darling, of course we're not. Oh, except for Mary here. She's terminally snooty. <laughs> anyway, I'm Marion. This is my husband, Stuart. And that is my gorgeous daughter, Liza, over there. Babe, welcome to the family. <laughs> She's so pretty. It's, it's like being married to a work of art. <laughs> I think so. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said yeah. to me. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe someday you could pose for me. And I'll paint you. That'd be great. Um, clothes or no clothes? Clothes, darling. <laughs> clothes. <laughs> 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 and who says family dinners can't be fun? Jamie. This is my wife. What do you think? Why, why didn't you tell me you got married? Well, I, I didn't want to wreck the surprise. <laughs> Isn't she unbelievable? Oh, yeah. Hi. Um, it's nice to meet you. Come to the party. Aww. Hey, Peanut, how you doing? <laughs> this is Colby. She's my stepsister. 
Colby? Colby, what? Were you named after Alexis and Fallon? Why didn't you tell me you were a Dynasty fan, too? I'm not. Colby is my maiden name. Oh. Well, Colby, I married your brother, so I'm your sister now. Isn't that great? You are? Yes, and we can go shopping and get manicures and pedicures and... and tattoos. Well, sure. I got my first one when I was, like, 12. <laughs> <laughs> toast. Uh, toast. I propose uh, a toast to J.R. and his beautiful new bride, babe. <laughs> and your whirlwind romance. Um, how many months old is it? <laughs> months? We met, like, three weeks ago. Adam, Adam, here, let me see. Oh, my goodness. I wasn't. We, we should go inside. I wasn't cut. I pulled it. No, in your, you know, you have it all over your suit. Those, those stains are going to set. <laughs> well, it's champagne, not ketchup. You know what? I think we can fix it. We just need to look at it. Let's. Okay. Just sit here. All right. Good. Well, if that soda doesn't work, uh, try lighter fluid. And a match. A tab of nitroglycerin in a year in bed wouldn't hurt either. <laughs> well, everybody, Stuart and I are going to take Colby back up to bed. So say good night, little ones. Good say good night. 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 Well, about that toast, I'll make it. Here's to my beautiful, wonderful bride. I only hope I can make her just as happy as she's made me. You know you already do. <clears throat> so, babe, were you named after the baseball player or the candy bar? Uh, it could be either. I'm real good with the bat, but I'm also sweet as candy. I am so sorry that Joe was called to the hospital. He would really have enjoyed this. He's a fan of train wrecks. <laughs> this is so good to taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tasted anything so good? Yes. <laughs> well? Say the Chandler family tree could use a little shaking up, and honey, I think you're just the one to do it. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm just, I'm just in love with Jr. Is all. We need to go talk to Jamie. Uh, can you excuse us for a second? I'm glad you're here. You know, Dad's acting like a jerk. I'll win him over. You'll see. You hungry? Uh, not anymore. Uh, JR said it would get a little tense, but I say, hey, if only a glass gets broken, we're doing okay. I mean, it's better than a lot of grown men wailing the tar of each other. <laughs> I have one too many bourbon and gingers. Like, I'm surrounded by three or four big guys wailing on each other till they drop. <laughs> You've been so great tonight, you know that? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so, um, you two are stepbrothers. Yep, my mom was married to his dad. <laughs> Your mother was married to his father. I'm going to need a chart to keep all this straight. Well, don't you worry. We're going to go ahead and give you help whenever you need it, okay? Ain't that right, Jamie? I think she can handle it on her own. <laughs> yes, she can. What's up with the silent treatment, man? Tell me what you think of my bride. <laughs> She's a gold-digging tramp from the wrong side of the, the trailer park. You know, you were overjoyed that J.R. was coming home. Well, he's here. Liza's right. You know, focus on that. Yeah, fine. J.R. can stay. The girl goes. Wait, is that? If you don't rein in this temper, baby's gonna leave. And J.R.'s gonna go with her. And you can bet that this time, it's gonna be for good. <laughs> <laughs>